Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we'll be learning about another one of our math shortcuts. And that shortcut is adding consecutive numbers from 1. You could use this shortcut in arithmetic and pre-calculus while you're in school. But this shortcut could also be used for any other purposes too. Before we get started with our rules and examples, I'll be telling you guys a short story. This story is about the person who created this shortcut, Carl Goss, and how he found it. So let's start. When Carl Goss was around 10 years old, his school teacher had given him and his class an assignment. The assignment was to write down all the whole numbers from 1 to 100 and add their sum. The teacher expected the students to take a long time to finish this task, but to the schoolmaster's astonishment, Carl had finished his work in a matter of a few minutes. Carl had also gotten the correct answer of 5,050, so he asked the student to explain his answer. The young boy explained that he found the result easily because he could see that 1 plus 100 equaled 101. So did 2 plus 99. Also 3 plus 98. And so on that he found 50 pairs of numbers that add to 101. Thus, 50 times 101 will equal to 5050. Now let's go on to our own type of problem that involves an odd amount of numbers. Let's say we have to add all the numbers from 1 to 9. If you look closely, when you add 1 and 9, you get 10. You also get 10 when you add 2 and 8, 3 and 7, etc. With this, we can find there are 4 pairs that make up 10. The only number that does not have a pair is 5. So now we can form an equation saying 4 times 10 equals 40 because there are 4 pairs of 10. Then we can add the numbers without a pair. In this case, that is 5. So 40 plus 5 equals 45. The answer to the sum of the numbers from 1 to 9 is 45. We could do all of this work in another simpler way with a rule. So, let's learn them. The rule is, multiply the amount of numbers in the group by one more than their number, and divide by two. Let's go to our first example. Let's do the same question Carl got. I want to know what the sum would be of the numbers added from 1 to 100. First thing we do, multiply the number one more by itself. So 100 times 101 equals 10,100. And then 10,100 divided by 2 as our second step is 5,050. And that's our answer. The same thing Carl had also gotten. Now on to our second example. My question is, I want to know what the sum would be of the numbers added from 1 to 23. So... Our first step is to multiply the number one more by one more than itself. 23 times 24 equals 552. Second step is to divide the thing by 2. So 552 divided by 2 equals 276. Our answer is 276. Let's look at one final example. I want to know what the sum of the numbers added from 1 to 57 would be. First thing we do, 57 times 58, which is 3,306. And now divide it by 2, I get 1,653, which is my answer. Now, here are a few problems for you guys to try out. What is the sum of the numbers from 1 to 29? What is the sum of numbers from 1 to 15? And finally, what is the sum of the numbers from 1 to 76? The answers will be in the description box below. Thank you guys for listening to this video. 
If you have any questions, comment down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.